Okay, so I picked this up at Thanksgiving on the crazy uh, price they had, the, the 12th day of Christmas. I think it was like 45 or 55 bucks. Um, and I've enjoyed these this series of Bowers. There's three of them at Harbor Freight that have the encoder wheel, the magnetic wheel on the back of the armature with a tachometer control and a little microcontroller in there to control the, uh, the firing of the SCR. Basically, uh, rather than just uh, uh, voltage control, it's actually real speed control. So this will maintain the speed of the spindle or the, the output of whatever the load is up to it, whatever its max current capacity is. So pretty remarkable tool. But I noticed on Harbor Freight that there was a bunch of complaints um, you know, relative to the, to the number sold, I don't know that it's a bunch. May, the percentage may be low, but there was enough complaints about uh, bolts or screws coming apart inside this head that I figured, hmm, I better check mine. So this is what you do. You open this thing up, and by the way, I did find a problem. So it is worth checking this. So you take that off. Um, it just keys with this D, double D shape to that uh, spindle arbor. This is on a bearing. This is a normal random orbital sander. sander. This um, screws into the spindle coming out of the machine, very similar to a right angle grinder. You access it by taking these two um, plugs off and then this whole plastic housing slides forward and then it ends up looking like a right angle grinder. So we take those two off this slides off, there's the spindle lock. So when you spindle lock, you rotate this until you get a, a spot that's tight. And before I do this, I, I initially took it down to this level and then um, unscrewed these five screws to, um, to put blue Loctite on them. These do not have any retaining washers, I mean um, lock washers. These three at least have lock washers, but I'm not sure that they're really reliable. So I blue lock tighted them. Great. But there's also a screw that is accessed from this port that used the, the, the Allen that came with the tool for tuning the balance of this thing, which there is no comment in the manual other, other than the schematic blow, blow, out, um, blow up view where it actually mentions this and there's no instructions on it. This allows you to tune the balance of this machine to the weight of the pad that you're running. This is freaking amazing. I didn't even know right angle, I mean, uh, uh, or random orbital, orbital sanders had this feature. This is a pretty cool high-end feature. So anyways, this is um, holding down a little ball. So this is supposed to be a spring bar holding down a ball bearing that's pushing against the threads to, cut, to prevent that adjusting um, cap screw from, it's an Allen, um, from uh, moving on its own. And that, that screw is connected to a mass. There's a weight in here that slides in a trough. Pretty ingenious. If you look at your schematic, you can see it. So I thought, I'm going to take it apart to see what ticks, and lo and behold, on the bottom, there's more screws, and one of my screws was loose. So, let me see here. Just grab it with some sort of plier-like device, and it spins off fairly easy. And there's an un un another interesting feature. This is a very inexpensive machine, even when it's not on sale because of this variable power, plus it's quite powerful. What is it, nine amps? Seven and a half amps with speed, real speed control. Um, that is a rarity. I mean, a Makita that has this feature is gonna be over 200 bucks. But I believe this is a 10 millimeter, which means this is basically, if you take this rubber housing off, you have yourself a 10 millimeter right angle grinder with speed control. If you don't want to use this feature, you can just buy this for a right angle grinder and off of uh, the Chinese sites, eBay, AliExpress, whatever, you can find a whole bunch of accessories that use 10 millimeters. So my buddy brought over his little kit and I'm gonna test, is it 10 millimeter? And it is 10 millimeter, but not that pitch. So I'm gonna guess it's gonna be one and a quarter 10 millimeter, which I think is the standard, um, uh, the standard uh, uh, right angle grinder 
pitch. Okay, no, it's one, not one and a quarter. What about 10 by one and a half? That must be the standard. There it is. I think that's the standard right angle grinder for um, the smaller Chinese right angle grinders in Japanese. So this tool has a, a 10 by one and a half pitch spindle arbor coming at it. And there it is. Now, back to the screws. This is the underside of this device. And you can see this one right here was loose. It was not tightened down. It does have a lock washer under it, but it was not tight. So this thing in vibrating, operating, this was gonna come out. It was gonna fly around in here, cause some problems. There's a number of uh, negative reviews about this tool. And so you really do need to service this um, eccentric head. So for that, um, I just pull it apart. And now we'll be able to see the, the eccentric weight uh, that's adjustable, the eccentricity of the weights adjustable. And there it is. It, um, the Allen screws this weight in and out. I can see this one's over tightened. I tried to tighten it from the outside and it wouldn't budge and I can see why because it, oh no, it is loose. Oh, they're, they're, okay, so there it is. You can see as you turn this, it moves the weight inboard. And as you turn it clockwise, it weight moves the weight outboard. And then there's a spring, there's a ball bearing underneath this right here that uh, pushes against the threads or yeah pushes against the threads of this uh, reduced head um, allen um, or maybe it's for this little oh look at that there's a little relief s drilled into the caps reduced head and i guess that grabs the ball oh yeah that might be a detent so it can't it won't vibrate very cool Anyways, so it would require some uh, um, some fussing with it, with uh, with a head on there to adjust this to find out what you uh, what balance uh, minimize vibrations. But it is pretty cool. You just access it from out here, so you don't have to disassemble anything. Uh, this basically goes like that. So I recommend you take everything apart. You put some uh, blue Loctite on the parts. So where'd my blue Loctite one? Did you put my blue? No, it's right here. Okay. Um, and uh, this one's been kind of finicky. It's kind of a, I think these have like a couple year shelf life, but this one's been around for a while. But I think it'll do well enough for this job. And uh, for some reason it's, it's not releasing the upper tip. Okay, so. A little blue Loctite on there. Okay, that's a little more than a little. We'll just share it. And that should prevent any issues of it coming off. And I think because this is um, a, a large aluminum face here, which is kind of sticky. Aluminum's kind of sticky. Um, it's going to stick to that uh, uh, steel face there on the arbor. So I don't think we have to worry about loctiting this or whatnot. But anyways, that should do the job. So let me just throw this back together. And you can uh, do this yourself and have a reliable machine, I believe. Because I don't think that these have any history of having motor problems. It's all about something in the head coming loose and then shearing and breaking things up so oh, let's see here this does go that way spins on clockwise and i hold the spindle lock right there and then tighten it up a bit you don't want this coming off And then what's next? Let's see here. Now I already did this, as I said, but just really undo those two. There's a little ball bearing. It doesn't spring out, though. There's no spring underneath. 
this flat bar is actually the this quote spring um, but loctite those two and then loctite these three and that should do the job um, and then um, when you're putting this back the the little d fits in those flats just like so so this might be a fairly impressive tool especially for 45 dollars or whatever it was on the 12th day of Christmas um, I may end up buying another one probably will actually just to have a 10 millimeter variable speed uh, tachometer controlled uh, right angle rat tailed grinder hey that's a word um, but there's a lot of Chinese um, accessories you can get um, from AliExpress or uh, wherever that use eight, uh, 10 millimeter drive shafts spindle shafts and uh, I used to have a mil uh, Makita right angle grinder with a 10 millimeter but um, it disappeared years ago and all mine are like every other American 5 8 11 and the Chinese just don't have very many products with 5 8 11 uh, drives available on their Chinese sites like E T AliExpress or Timu. Anyways, thank you for watching. There you go.